<laughs> men's D800. We and thanks for that technical glitch that we've all had to suffer for through for the last half hour. But we are back. We have eight or seven 800-meter uh, races and a number of 1,500-meter events to go for the remaining two and a half hours of the program here at Duncan McKinnon Reserve, Mitch. Yeah, well, look, yes, you would all know that we obviously weren't here, but um, look, we're back <laughs> now, and that's the most important thing. So on the line now is our men's D800 meters from the swagger. Bradley Hall was hip number one. Number two, Mitchell Wilson from Collingwood. Number three, Benjamin Stevens, Eureka. Number four, Samuel Lowe, Collingwood. Number five, Patrick Stewart, Essendon. Number six, Raymond Jansen, Athletics, uh, Waverley. Number eight, Oh, no, number seven, sorry, Hugh Olerenshaw from uh, Windaree. Number eight, Sebastian Farrelly of Mornington Peninsula. Number nine, Julian Horsey of Sandringham. And number 10, Hopper Fagan, unattached. And these boys are going to get moving. I believe that is going to be Samuel Lowe. From Collingwood, but he's chosen the all-black kit rather than he's skipping the wh any whites yeah. in the Collingwood <laughs> uniform. I reckon Mitch Wilson's done the same. Raymond Jansen now getting on the outside, and they've slowed up. So they've, they've all just hit the brakes on, and they've said, uh, look, we're just going to uh, we're gonna run this as a pack race. It's almost championship racing right now, but they're going to let Samuel Lowe do it early in the all-black kit, and Raymond Jansen nicely on the outside there, Mick. Bit of a tactical affair here at the Miles Club. Usually running for times. But this might be the best way they can get a fast time tonight. All just hiding in the pack, biding their time as they round the bend. 500 metres to go. Yeah, watch out for Mitch Wilson now. He has one here at the Vic Milers Club. And watch him now. I think he's just heard me here, Mitchy Wilson. So Mitch Wilson says enough of this. It's time for man's play and you're all boys in a man's world. So right now, Mitchy Wilson <laughs> gets around Raymond Jansen still behind him there. Hopper Fagan now. He's going to be the one to start to make a move on the outside of that back pack. But it is going to be Mitchell Wilson, Samuel Lowe, both of Collingwood. Mitch Wilson at 300 metres extends away now. Raymond Jansen, Patrick Stewart as well from Essendon. He's sitting in fourth. He's making his way up to third position, going on the shoulder of Jansen. He's one to watch over his final 250 metres, but he's still low in front. 200 metres to go. Still bridging that same gap of a few Ooh. metres. And a bit of a trip. Bradley Hall, Hall out the back there. But check out... Mitch Wilson. Mitch Wilson. He is extending his lead ahead of Samuel Lowe. The athlete from Essendon and Patrick Stewart is hanging on. Ram and Jensen, he's been there all race, but he's not going to get there in time. It is going to be Mitchell Wilson who takes out this men's D 800 metres from Samuel Lowe, Raymond Jensen and Patrick Stewart. Hopper Fagan as well. I didn't mention him all race, but he came through for a strong fifth position there. Whew. I think Mitchie Wilson just went under two minutes. He would have been pretty damn close. Seb Farrelly right in the mix as well. One of the youngest athletes in this field. A huge stack from our swagger athlete as well. So I'm not sure if there are a few hands being thrown around with 200 metres to go, but unfortunately he was the victim of it. 